Uh, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Lady G's Garden Cafe. How y'all doing this morning? Did everybody have a sweet sleep last night? Looked like somebody wasn't sleeping too good last night. I just want to encourage you. May I suggest to you, I'm not a doctor or physician, but may I make a suggestion? I'll tell you what I do to get a real good night's sleep, honey, because I love my sleep. If you're not, if you're having problems sleeping and things going on, your, going on in your mind because of what's going on in the world, I want to encourage you, I want to suggest to you that you go get you some lavender bubble bath or some body wash, get you some lavender tea, and get you some lavender essential oil. Rub that girl on the bottom of your feet and before you go to bed at night, honey, and then drop me a comment and let me know how that worked out for you. Now, I'm not prescribing nothing. I'm not a doctor. I'm just telling you what I do. And it works for me. So some of y'all not getting y'all sleep. Y'all not resting properly. So try that and drop me a comment. Now, how everybody else doing? Y'all doing all right? Look, y'all, I wanted to come to the Garden Cafe today because we need to talk. I've been thinking, honey. Uh-oh, somebody say she been thinking. Yeah, I've been thinking. I've been thinking about some of the people, you know, even though the building, the sanctuaries are, are, are closed and we don't have access to them, that, that it does not stop us from still being Christ-like. That's what Christian mean. Christian mean Christ, Christ-like. That's all that means. So, but I just want to, uh, I've been thinking about, you know, some of the people that I have encountered in my lifetime, because y'all know I, I turned 60 on, on, you know, Monday. I did turn 60. So I've been thinking about some of the people that I have encountered in my lifetime and over my lifespan. And some of those people have been professing the name of Christ and they've been saying that they are Christians. But honey, I, I, I don't know. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell until they told me because their lifestyle didn't line up to what they were saying. Because, you know, your testimony sometimes is the only Bible that some people are uh, going to read. Mm -hmm. So that had started me to thinking. And I started thinking about some stories in the book about, you know, our lifestyle and our life change and what, what should happen. And, and, and a scripture came to me in the book. It's in the book, y'all. And it says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, behold means to stop and look, y'all. Behold, all things have become new. So I'm wondering, why are we not acting brand new? You know, sometimes be, acting brand new used to be um, a bad thing. She acting all brand new. She comes, she just new to the job. Now she trying to act like she running the place. She acting brand new. Or, or sometimes when you be done talked about somebody, not y'all, but somebody else. You know, I'm talking about people in, in Vegas, you know. When they be done talked about you and, and called you all kind of names except the child of God. And and then you walk up on them while they talking to you. Then they be like, hey, they be trying to act brand new like they don't think you know what they've been doing. So sometimes acting brand new cannot be a good thing. Sometimes people be acting brand new when they acting like they don't know what they're doing. But they really do know what they're doing. When they're doing some shady stuff and then they get found out, then they be like, why? Then they want to cry and act like they the victim. They acting brand new. But we're not talking about that brand new. We're talking about a new person in Christ. Because when we are new in Christ, some people have been new in Christ, have been living in Christ and considering themselves Christians and Christ-like uh, for years. And they still acting the same. They still doing the same thing. You throwing pots, husband throwing pans, he throwing forks, she throwing knives. What's going on? Why are we not acting brand new? We should be acting brand new. The scripture says in the book, and the book says if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. So shouldn't we be acting brand new? Shouldn't we have a new way of talking, a new way of walk? You know, there was a song that said, I got a new walk over in glory, and it's mine. But, you know, some people wait until they get the glory to get that new walk. But I think we should be walking new down here on this earth because if we're don't, if we not brand new on this earth, how are we going to be brand new in the New Jerusalem? It, it, that don't go together. So listen, I want to come stop in and, and encourage us on this morning that let us start acting brand new. In Galatians, in the book, it's in, it's in the book, it's in Galatians 2 and 20. And in Galatians 2 and 20, say, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but the Christ that lived within me. And then he said, in the life that I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Now, you know, Nicodemus, he was a ruler, y'all. This is a story, it's a story in the book. He was a ruler. And so, you know, since he had all this power and stuff and this status, he came to Jesus by night. Yes, he did. And he asked Jesus, uh, how can a man be born again? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb? Jesus said, oh, 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 oh no, uh-uh. No, you must be born of the spirit and of the water. That's, that's the only way you could be born again. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. He said, I am the door. Why aren't we acting brand new? We say we've been born again. We say we've been dipped in the water and all that. And we came out shouting and wanted to make you happy. And I came out running. Why did we didn't come out brand new? 
it's time for us as people of God to say that we are of the most high, that we are living a, a set apart. Because sanctified don't only means we set aside. That means we're living a set apart, set aside life. I mean, we don't do the things that we used to do. We don't do everything everybody else do. Why are you not brand new? Why are we still cussing and fussing and acting crazy? Why are we still fighting and slapping? And... Y'all, I'm not a fighter. I don't like to fight. I take up too much energy. I could be doing something else with that time. Why are we not acting brand new? If we are new in Christ, shouldn't we be acting brand new? Shouldn't we have a new lifestyle? Y'all, come on. Do y'all know anybody? Because I know everybody that, that's watching me today. I know everybody that's watching this video. I know we all brand new. We acting brand new. But we all know some people that's not acting brand new. They still lying and scheming and conniving and saying they brand new. They still walking around here doing all kind of evil and hurt to people. Uh-uh. No, the, the, the book say if, uh, if we name in the name of Christ, we got to flee sin. Paul said that, uh, he said, um, what did he say? He said, uh, those things that I wouldn't do, those are the things I did. And see, people kind of lean on those. He said, they're in because there is a war in my body. There's always a war going on in your mind. And you have to make a choice what you're going to do. Are you going to choose to act brand new? Or are you going to choose to be brand new? Stop acting like you don't know how to live for the Lord. Stop acting like you don't know what's right from wrong. Y'all know what's right from wrong. Child, come on now. You know it ain't right for you to be rolling your eyes and snapping your husband up. Did I say something wrong? You know that we should, uh, the, the book says, a soft answer turns away wrath. Grievous words stir up anger. Be slow to speak, be swift to hear, and slow to wrath. Did I say something wrong? Come on, y'all. We, it's time for us that's naming the name of Christ. That's saying that we are Christians. That's saying that we are sanctified, which is just set aside from the world. We're set apart for the master's use. So let's start acting like it. Let's start acting brand new. Let's start acting like we know who he is. Let's start acting like a change came over. You know Tremaine Hawkins? She said a change has come over me. So how we been in Christ for 15 years and still doing the same thing? See, people like to make excuses. But uh, I believe it's in the book and it said, Thou art, thou art inexcusable, O man. Thou that judges another and well, do the same thing. So let this light so shine in you that men may see the good works and glorify the father which is in heaven ain't nobody glorifying the father after we get through cussing them out ain't nobody glorifying the father after we get through lying on them ain't nobody glorifying the father after we get through making them shady deals but let us live a set aside life let us start acting brand new and living brand new and walking in the newness of life if any man name the name of christ let him flee fornication let him flee those things let him let him lay down those things the little young man, he came to Jesus. He said, you know, what what, what do I need to do to be born again? How, what can I do? And he said, um, sell all you have and take up your cross and follow me. Uh, Jesus, it's a yoke following Jesus. Now, you remember, I'm, I'm from the city. I'm not from the country, but I'm learning a lot of things. And yoke of oxen, I heard that in the Bible and all that. But what really resonated to me, honey, when I seen it, they got this yoke on these oxen. They going two by twos and they plowing in the field. They can't go nowhere but straight straight ahead. There's a road, there's a, there's a way that seems right unto man, but the end thereof is destruction. And there's a road that leads to, to the glory. It's, it's a narrow road. And, and the books say, few there be that find it. So let's find the narrow road. Let's, let's walk up right. Let's start acting and living and walking and talking brand new. Let us stop walking in that old nature that we being mean and being being selfish and being inconsiderate it, some of us some some people that i know have that mentality that i'm gonna get all i can i'm gonna can all i got i'm gonna sit on the top and i'm gonna let the rest rot that's not that that no no so come on y'all let's start acting brand new if any man be in christ he is a new creature all things all that cussing and fussing and throwing pots and pans and forks and knives and lying and conniving and steving and, and snipping and tipping and dipping and doing all those things that just, just un not ungodly. Yeah, all things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. All right, y'all, it's time for us to start acting brand new. Let people see a change in you. Let them know. Tremaine Hawkins said, a change, a change has come over me. All right. So it's time for us to start walking in the newness of life. It's time for us to start experiencing the fullness of joy. In his presence, there is fullness of joy. Y'all remember those songs from the back of the day? Yeah, y'all, I'm still on that song, but I, 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 got to, I got to give what I got. And what I got today is, why aren't you acting brand new? And then I'm going to bring it on home and say, why you ain't acting brand new?
We need to start acting brand new. When we're in Christ, we are new creatures. There's a newness of life. There should be a difference. People should be able to tell the difference between clean and unclean, saved and unsaved, Christian and not Christian, non-Christian and Christian. So, y'all, this is Lady G coming to you from Lady G's Garden Cafe. And I just had to ask us a question. Why you ain't acting brand new? It's time for us to act brand new and be brand new in our homes. We're not supposed to be one way outside the house. It, it, it never ceased to amaze me how people say, oh, you know, I'm a mission. I'm on a mission. The Lord had, had called me on a mission. I'm going to Africa. You going to Africa and, and you got Africans sitting on your living room couch that you can't even communicate with? That don't go together. Did I say something wrong? And, and you tell me, oh, I'm going over to Europe. You got Europeans sitting on your living room couch that you can't even minister to. You can't even talk to without fussing and fighting. Now, how you going to minister in Europe? Uh, did I say something wrong? So let us let us start acting brand new. Let us start acting like we know who Jesus is. Let us start acting like we've been changed. Let us start acting like that old man is down. I know sometimes he try to resurrect, but then it's time for us when that old nature starts trying to rise up. That means that we whatever you feed, that's what's gonna live. So we're feeding too much, feeding our flesh too much. We feed our eyes too much. Time to get in the book. I, you know, ain't nothing wrong with Facebook, but sometimes we need to put face push it to the side a little bit and put our face in the book so that we can learn how we can start living and acting brand new. All right, y'all. This is Lady G coming to you from Lady G's Garden Cafe. And I want to encourage you on this morning, before you leave the, ca the cafe, would you please give me a thumbs up, please, sir, please, ma'am. And if you like, you can drop me a comment down in the comment section. Now, if you're watching me through YouTube, I want to ask you to hit that thumbs up. Give me a like if you like it. And if you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel so y'all can come on and meet me at the cafe because we got some things that we need to talk about. All right. So and if y'all know anybody on any of these social medias that you feel can use this word and use a word of encouragement on the day, I want you to feel free to share it. I don't mind. Take you a to-go box out the garden and share it with somebody. All right. So until the next upload, this is Lady G saying y'all go out there and have a wonderful day and start acting, living, and being brand new like you know that you know that you know and on purpose all right so until the next upload i want to say later y'all